What's up everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and uh, a couple of weeks ago I posted a video on Instagram that uh, was Team Canada back in the Sochi Olympics doing a, a 3 on 0 regroup drill and it's a really cool drill and uh, but the, the limitations, the time limitations on Instagram made it so that uh, a number of the people who saw it weren't able to fully grasp how the drill worked. Um, they could see enough of it that they could tell it was a good drill but not enough of it to really be able to get the, the full picture of how the drill works. So I'm gonna quickly diagram out what the drill looks like and then uh, give you a longer clip of the drill in action. When you see Team Canada doing this, they actually, this is part of the confusion too, they don't run it the exactly the same way every single time they do it. It's kind of a, a bit of a flowy drill and obviously they're at a high enough level that they can improvise a little bit more and the drill still keeps going. So I'm gonna kind of show you the basics of it and then, uh, and then show you what it looks like in action. But just remember, as you're watching it, it's not exactly the same every single time that they do it. So here's how it sets up. We've got four lines in the corners at the blue line. Um, two of the lines will be longer than the other two, and that's because it's a three-man drill. So um, you know the longer lines will have two guys leaving from it every time. Um, <clears throat> so what will happen is, uh, and it's, it's continuous, it's a flow, so it'll go like this. So this guy will leave out, you know, uh, the two guys will leave out from the other side, one with the puck, and usually there's a pass across, okay? Sometimes they go pass across and then a pass back to the next guy, but usually what happens is it's a pass across and then this guy, you know, deflects it up, kind of a, a touch pass, redirection, or sometimes he'll pass straight across to this guy, okay? So basically there's an opening pass and then the player who receives it redirects the pass to one of the opposite facing lines, okay? Uh, at that point, all three guys uh, swing, they loop. So this is a, a kind of a neat little variation of a swing regroup, okay? So the guy who made the, who started with the puck swings, and it looks like this, and then usually the second man in line has swung, but at a little bit different pace, a little bit different angle so that you've got multiple guys in multiple lanes coming through. And then the player who receives it, again, sometimes he passes straight back to one of these three forwards, or I've seen, I think there's a couple variations uh, in the drill you're about to see where he actually goes cross ice pass. So it, there's, there's, like I said, these guys at the higher levels, they can improvise. If you're doing this with a younger team, I'd recommend insisting that it be done one way first until the team gets good and then, um, you know, then open it up to some some possible improvisations. Uh, but let's just say it goes to, uh, you know, the return pass comes back to this middle guy, and then uh, he'll head man it up to the player who had swung ahead of him. And this player will pick it up, and then what you'll see in the clip is that uh, they always enter the zone in an attack triangle. So the first man in will drive wide, uh, second man is going to the net, more or less like that. And then the third guy is the trailer man following up the puck carrier. So they come in, they enter in as an attack triangle. And then uh, once these guys clear clear out of the neutral zone, then the drill starts again from the opposite lines. Okay, so two guys will leave from this line right here, and one player leaves from this line. It's the same thing coming back the other way. So, you know, a pass across, maybe a second pass, but eventually they work it to, you know, one of these two lines, swing, get a return pass, and enter the zone three on oh. Uh, you will see a couple times in this where they don't, they actually bypass the pass to these guys. And like I'm saying, they're at, at the higher, I mean, this is Olympic hockey, and, uh, you know, so these guys are obviously capable of improvising uh, more than you would see at the younger age groups. So adjust it, you know, be, be liberal, as liberal as you want to with the improvisations. But uh, with the younger age groups, I'd, I'd probably insist on it being done a certain way first uh, until the players are really good at doing it that way and then open up some other uh, possible variations or, or options there. So that's the drill. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll clip over and show you what it looks like in action.